Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art. So today I'm drawing a picture of um, a kingfisher for you and I'm doing it with all pens. So I'm starting out, I'm drawing the outline with a Bic, um, the ones with the five inks in them, I forgot what you call them, but yeah, just a five ink pen and, or four ink pen, sorry, and I'm just drawing him his basic outline with this. So as you can see, I'm just going around now and getting the size of his beak and where I want him and I sort of visually I compared his beak to the size of his head so his beak length is about the same depth from the front of his beak to the back of his beak as it is from the front of his head to the back of his head so I sort of visually gauge the size of his body and everything in proportion to his head from then on as well so his head and his beak is pretty much the same length as his torso and then his tail is pretty much the same length as his beak. So I sort of use different parts of their animal's bodies as a gauge on the size of the rest of their proportions. So, and because I've practiced a lot with drawing, I can do it visually these days. I don't need to have a pencil or anything to measure with. Like, you know, you can hold your pencil up against something and then get a, a rough size of how big it is and then use that as your measuring tool for the rest of the drawing. So now I'm drawing the eye in and I can still, even though it's pen, I can still adjust things as I go a little bit because I can go over things in stronger ink and, you know, it sort of hides any, in, any errors I've made. Like as you can see, I've got a few lines, I've extended the length of his head just a fraction and I'll change the direction, like the, the depth of his wing um, as I go along. Um, but I can adjust that because I can just add feathers over the top and add deeper colours and yeah it'll just disappear the lines as I go along. So now I'm drawing in his wings and he's got sort of stringy feathers on his back. So I'm just about right to start colouring I think. So I've got some uh, uni pin, uni ball signo pens in different colour inks and I've also got a uni ball air which is a really strong black ink. So yeah I'll be going in and doing that. So I started off with my uni ball air just for the black of the beak and also the eye and now I'm going in with a blue in my uni ball signo so a light blue it is so I'm just going in everywhere that he's got his turquoisey coloured feathers and just doing rough lines of the directions of the feathers and taking that right around where I want them and then I've got an orange uni ball signo that I'm doing in his orangish feathers and I've also got a red one, so I'm going to mix the orange and the red to make it a more natural colour. Um, they do have quite a striking vivid orange chest and around their eye anyway, so it's actually worked out really well. So I got all these at my local office shop. Um, yeah, I'm loving doing pen drawings at the moment. You know, I've always been passionate about drawing first. Um, and it's just, yeah, since I've started YouTube, I found, you know, watching quite a lot of videos that, you know pen drawing is a thing <laughs> and luckily I love pen drawing so yeah I'm happy to to learn and share as I go along as well so you know I've only done a handful of colored pen drawings so yeah this is a lot of fun so now I've got um, my green uni ball signo pen and I'm filling in between the blue so it just gives a variation of color um, and you can buy these pens individually. I didn't buy them in a set. I just bought the colours that I wanted. And because I sort of thought I'm loving colourful animals at the second. So I thought I'd do a colourful bird today. So I got the colours for this bird from the office shop. So now I'm going in with my my uh, air pen, air, uni ball air. And I just did some black trim around those feathers. And then I continue on with the green and the blue. And just take that down in all of the direction of his feathers. And I just follow along in the same sort of pattern. I'll just extend those feathers on his cheeks a little bit. And then I fill in the gaps with the green. Just like that. And take that down his neck. Then I do the trim of them in black again. And now you can see I'm going in with the red. So this is another uni ball signo. And I'm just adding some red line work just around the trim of his orange bits and then 
I'm going in and starting the wing feathers. Now, these are going to be time consuming. This whole picture took me about an hour and a half. So I've sped it up a, a, a bit or quite a bit because <laughs> you know, no one wants to be sitting there for an hour and a half watching someone draw lines. So, <laughs> so yeah, so I've um, just sped up the, the, the wing part and just drawing the lines with the green. And I literally am going to do the same thing. I will follow it, do all the basic shapes of the wings and the feathers. And then I'll go over it with each colour ink and try and build up. I did find with these gel pens, um, you've got to wait until the first layer of ink's dry. Otherwise, they won't go over each other. They sort of tend to actually blend a bit, which was interesting because I'm not, I'm not very knowledgeable about, about using gel pens. But yeah, while they were wet, I couldn't just because I'm impatient. <laughs> I wanted to go over the top straight away. I had to wait. So yeah, because the ink was still wet and it sort of absorbed the the color on top, it didn't didn't want to flow, didn't want to draw the lot, do the lines for me. It didn't want to carry them. So yeah, so now I've done all the green now on that side, and then I do the feathers on his back in. And you can see I've got some base drawing lines that you can still see a little bit, but they do disappear as the drawing goes on, as the darker colors go over the top. So I've done the undercoat in green. And I will add some tail feathers here now. So I'll literally just do the whole base coat of green first. So I'm taking that down his tails now and getting the rough feather outline. And the lighter you use the pens, the lighter the colour will be. And as you can see around the trim of these, I've made the green quite dark. And that's just from doing another, like a stronger pressure with the pen to darken up the ink colour. So then I just go in with my blue and just follow that around and as you can see I'm struggling a little bit this is where I tried to do it before it was dry and the ink didn't want to travel around on the top of the green so but we got there we ended up I ended up just filling it in in the gaps where you can still see white I popped the blue in there and just kept going and then I follow around the trim of his wing feathers take that right down his back being sure to keep the direction of the feathers going in the correct way and just filling in all the little white areas with this blue pop those wing feathers in then I take that down and sort of keep a rough line going into where the body feathers the orange feathers meet in with the wing feathers so I've done little jaggedy lines going into the wings, underneath of the wings. Because nothing in nature is just a dead straight line. It's all, you know, jiggly jiggly and wiggly and wobbly. and <laughs> So, yeah, so I've made sure that I've kept the lines a little bit rough. And then I go into the other side and do the same thing. And it's started to dry by now, so it's a bit easier to, to cover the other the green. So I just go in and top up the back colour. And then go around the trim of the tail feathers. Take that right round. And do the bottom tail feathers. Righto. So now I'm going in with uh, my Uniball Air, which is a very, very strong black uh, gel pen. And I'm doing around the trim of most of the back feathers and the wing feathers, just to give them some definition. Because there are in the photo that I'm using from a reference from Unsplash, um, the bird is quite shadowed around the trim of his feathers. So then I just add a bit of texture in, a bit of extra texture. And make it look a bit more uniform across the whole bird. And then I add that. This, this one went over the top really easily because it's a really strong gel ink. So then I do the opposite side wing. And finish off around the nape of his neck and his cheek. Okie doke. So now I'm going back in with the light blue pen because it's dry enough and adding over the top a bit more blue. And then I'm using my four the four coloured pen and I'm just going to Oh, I'm going back in with the blue here and just finishing off his back. 
and I got the white gel pen as well so I'm just doing some highlights on his beak and around his eye I left the one highlight which was the white of the paper but I, I saw that I'd missed one on the bottom of his eye so I've added that in and now I'm going back in and just finishing off anywhere with the blue that I'd missed and adding some more feather texture And you can see it's starting to come together now. It's starting to look okay. Let me just add that down. The trim of those other feathers on the other side of his body. And now I go in and I draw his little leg. And I'm using the orange. And I'll also go back in with the red just around the shadow areas. And it's amazing. I can get some real depth of colour with these pens. It's amazing. So now I'm going in and just touching up the red around the areas in his orange that needed some red, a bit more strength. And I'm popping the branch on and I'm just using a standard ballpoint pen that I have in a brown ink for this. So this is just an ordinary $2 shop brown pen. Um, and I'm just, uh, just doing layers and layers and layers to build up depth following the direction of the wood. So I just take that down past the foot and down onto the little branch and I'll just literally build it up in layers just following the direction of the wood following the lines of the wood and then I've got my darker pen and I think it's a black and a blue and I'm just going in and adding some darker around the shadow part of the or a bit of black around the shadow part and then going over the top with the brown again just to mute the black out a bit and that's the shadow done. So now I'm going in with my four four ink pen, just the normal ballpoint four ink pen. And going over with the blue that's in this pen over the top of everything. It just gives like three different colours of blue within the feathers because they are such a colourful bird and they have turquoises and blues and they're just gorgeous. So yeah, it's amazing. I can get some variation in blues with different kinds of pens. So this is just a standard ink pen, ballpoint pen. So I take that around all of his wing feathers, following the direction of the feathers. And as you can see, I've got my clear plastic under my wrist again to stop me from smudging the ink while it's still wet. And then I take it right around the bottom of his tail feathers. And I go in and I wanted to do some highlights on his back. So I've got my Posca pen in white. And I'm just doing adding some little highlights onto his wings and his back. And that just helps to get some of that back. And I'm done. I hope you enjoyed this pen drawing. I had an absolute ball. I'd love it if you click like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys for my next video. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you then. Okie doke. Bye.